Hola mis amigos, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Kyle y aquí en mi canal Pensando en Inglés, la misión es siempre traerles inglés real y comprensible para ayudarles con su inglés. Y una de las razones por qué me encantan los idiomas es porque me encanta poder conocer personas diferentes, aprender de sus vidas, sus culturas, sus maneras de vivir. Así que hoy voy a hablar sobre las tres personas con las que más me gustaría tener conversaciones. Empecemos. Hello, my friends. My name is Kyle, and I love to talk to people. I love to have conversations with people. I love to learn about other people, about their lives about their cultures, okay? That is one of the reasons why I really love to learn languages. Because for me, it's very special to meet new people and to be able to connect with them, platicar, hablar, okay? Compartir la vida. That is something that I really enjoy in my life. Yesterday, today is, today is Wednesday while I'm recording this video. Yesterday was Tuesday and I had a nice conversation yesterday with one of you guys, Pedro de Colombia. Maybe you guys remember seeing the video that Pedro sent me where he was speaking English. Yesterday I spoke with Pedro and uh, he told me it was his very first conversation in English. Wow, it was the first time in his life that he spoke English with somebody else. So I am honored that that was with me. Pedro, disfruté muchísimo nuestra conversación. Uh, tu inglés, muy, muy bueno mi amigo. Y suerte con todas tus cosas. So that was really cool for me to have a conversation with him. Uh, to speak to him in his second language, in English. And today I was thinking, well, who, if I could speak to anybody in the world, if I could have a conversation with anybody in all of the world, who would I want to speak with? So today I am going to tell you guys three people that I would love to have conversations with. First, Elon Musk. I think you guys probably know who Elon Musk is. He is the richest man in the world, el hombre más rico del mundo. He is the richest man in the world. So I would love to talk to him about how to be successful, how to make money, things like that. But more important for me, he is brilliant. He is brilliant. He is very smart, okay? He's an inventor. Elon Musk was a co-creator of PayPal, and he is the CEO, y que significa que es el gran jefe, of the companies Tesla and SpaceX, okay? Tesla is a company of autos, of cars, and these cars can drive by themselves, okay? And his other company that is very interesting for me, SpaceX. Now, I know a lot about SpaceX. Not because I wanted to go and look and read about it, but because my son, he loves space, okay? Él le encanta los planetas y cohetes y todo eso. So, because of the things that my son likes to watch and to read, I've learned a lot about Elon Musk. So he does a lot of interesting things with his SpaceX company, okay? He's making really good rocket ships, cohetes, rocket ships that can launch. They can launch up into the sky and then come back down. And you can use them again, okay? That's incredible because in the past, whenever they launched them up, the rockets broke apart and they stayed in space, okay? But now, Elon, Elon Musk, he made rockets that can go up and come back down and use them again. It's pretty incredible. Elon Musk, his net worth. What is net worth? Net worth significa todo el dinero que tiene. Que tiene en inversiones en sus compañías, todo eso. So, Elon Musk's net worth is $181 billion, making him the richest man in the world. He was born in South Africa. He was born in South Africa, but he also has an American U.S. citizenship and a Canadian citizenship as well. 
Elon Musk is trying to get humans, humanos, he's trying to get humans to the planet Mars, okay? He thinks that for humans to have a long future, un futuro largo, that we need to be an, él dice, an interplanetary species, okay? So, ¿qué significa un interplanetary species? Un interplanetary species quiere decir que es una especie de criatura, de ser, que vive en más que un, una planeta. So, Elon thinks that we need to live on different planets because one day, one day, a long, long time from now, we will not be able to live on Earth because of pollution, okay? Global warming, things like that. So he thinks that we need to get a colony on Mars, okay? He thinks that humans need to live on Mars in the future. And I think that he will succeed. I pienso que va a lograr su meta because he is a genius, es un genio, and... I watched an interview with him in Entrevista that really uh, inspired me, me inspiró algo que él dijo. Something that he said really inspired me. He was talking about when he made the rocket, the cohete, that can go up and come back down. He failed three times, falló tres veces, okay, when he was doing this. The rocket went up and exploded three times, okay? But on the fourth time, he succeeded, okay? It went up, shh, and it came back down. So the guy who was talking with him, he said, did you ever think about quitting? And Elon, he looked right at him and he said, I never quit. I would have to be dead. Que chido, que chévere. And I just think that's so cool. And I think that that attitude right there is why he's so successful, why he's the richest man in the world and why I think he's going to be very important for the future of humanity. So, because Elon is probably the most successful, más exitosa persona del mundo, because he is probably the most successful person on the planet, if I could speak with him, I would ask him to give me advice about how I could be more successful, okay? What he thinks it's important that I learn to have a better future, and I would ask him if he would talk to my son and give my son some advice because my son wants to go to space one day. So I would love to hear, I would love to hear what Elon would say, what he would say to my son, okay? I think that would be an amazing conversation and I would love to speak with Elon Musk. Quien sabe, un dia es posible. The second person that I would love to have a conversation with, his name is George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre. But, todo el mundo dice, GSP, George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre was a UFC fighter, UFC, MMA. Okay, he was a UFC fighter. He was a champion in two different weight classes. And when I was younger, más joven, he was kind of a hero of mine, un héroe mío, okay? I used to love, I used to love to watch GSP fight. He was so good. He's such a great fighter. George St. Pierre, he fought 28 times, 28 veces el peleo, and he only lost twice. He only lost twice, and later, he went back and fought those guys again who beat him, and he won. George St. Pierre was a great champion, and the reason why I would love to speak with him is because he was one of my favorite fighters ever. And because if you watch interviews with him or videos of him, he seems like a really, really nice person. Parece una persona muy amable. So I would love to speak to him, tell him how much I respect him and admire his career in fighting. And another thing I would really enjoy is to speak with him in French, in Francais, because he is from Quebec in Canada, and in Quebec they speak French. So. Uh, he was a hero of mine. He's an awesome fighter. So I would love to give him an interview, to speak to him and ask him about his life, about the difficulties in his life, the hard times he's had, okay, his opinions, sus opiniones del mundo de la vida. And I would like to have this conversation in French. The third person, the third person that I wish I could have a conversation with is not alive. Se murió. Hace mucho. Se murió hace, no sé, 20 años. 
he died about 20 years ago. My grandpa, okay, mi abuelo. So the father of my mom, el padre de mi, de mi madre, my abuelo. So he died when I was young. Se murió cuando yo era joven. He died when I was young. I remember he was always so nice to me. For my birthday or for Christmas, he gave me awesome gifts, okay? Regalos geniales. He gave me fishing poles so I could go and fish. Gave me rifles, okay? Yeah, he gave a 10-year-old guns, yeah. But uh, he was always a good grandpa. He always came to all of our birthday parties and Christmas and things like that. He loved us very much. He loved me and my sister and my cousins. He was a good man. But when you are young, you really cannot know an adult like the person that they really are. Es como un niño no puede conocer un adulto, un, un adulto como realmente son como persona, en mi opinión. So, I would love, now that I am a man, I'm a grown adult, I would love to speak with my grandfather, to learn about his life, his personality, his experiences. My grandfather had some pretty interesting experiences in his life that I know of. When he was 16 years old, he lied, okay? He lied so that he could, he lied, okay? Mintio. He lied and said that he was 18, so that he could join the army and go to fight in Korea, okay? Because when my grandfather was young, he was 16 years old, the United States, okay, we were at war with, with Korea. So my grandfather, he said, he said, I'm 18. I want to join the army and go fight. So, yeah. My grandfather has two different birthdays, dos cumpleaños. Un de verdad. Y un cumpleaños que el gobierno estadounidense piense. Mm. Que loco. So he, he lied so that he could go and fight in the Korean War. That's, uh, that's pretty tough. Que hombre, ¿no? And later in his life, he was a pastor, un pastor in a church. He was a man of faith. And I would love to be able to speak with him and to, to know uh, his opinions on life and the experiences he had in the war, being a pastor, being a father, being a grandfather. I would love to know him like a person and speak to him man to man. I never got that opportunity because he died when I was young, but I really wish, ojala, I really wish that I could do that now. So the third person that I would have a conversation with, if it was possible, would be my grandfather. Okay, my friends. Now, la tarea de hoy, today's assignment. Tell me down below in English, who would you guys like to have a conversation with? Con quien les gustaría tener una conversación? Who would you like to have a conversation with and why? Como siempre, mis amigos, muchísimas gracias por ver y nos vemos pronto.